and four people have been arrested and charged after 53 migrants died in what, what has been called the deadliest human smuggling incident in U.S. history. Last Monday, authorities found the migrants in sweltering conditions inside a semi-truck in San Antonio. More than a dozen people were alive inside the tractor trailer and hospitalized for heat-related conditions. Rafael Romo has the story of two brothers killed in the tragedy who shared the same dream of reaching the U.S. Shared a dream. They would travel together by land through Central America and Mexico, hoping to reach the United States in less than two months. We planned it all as a family so that they could have a better life, their mother says. We wanted them to make their dreams come true. 23-year-old Alejandro Miguel Andino Caballero and his 18-year-old brother Fernando José Redondo Caballero were among the 53 migrants found dead in sweltering conditions inside a tractor trailer this week in San Antonio, Texas. A Homeland Security Investigations agent says this is the deadliest human smuggling incident in U.S. history. It's just horrific that any human being would treat another human being like this. It's just horrific. And uh, the sooner uh, that we can get the investigation top to bottom uh, uh, to give us more uh, detail, uh, the better off we are. The brothers were not traveling alone. 24-year-old Margie Tamara Paz wife of the older brother, was also found dead in the tractor trailer. 28-year-old Adela Ramirez was also among the four Honduran nationals who died there. A friend of hers in her native Cuyamel, Honduras, says she wanted to travel to the United States to be reunited with her family. I'm going to leave, she told me, because the whole family wants to be together, my mother and my two sisters. Most of the migrants found trapped in the tractor trailer came from Guatemala, Honduras, and Mexico. The Bear County Medical Examiner's Office, which is processing the bodies of the deceased, has asked for patience. In a statement, it said that a large number of victims and the expectation that most or possibly all are citizens of foreign countries will likely lead to a prolonged process. <coughs> Among the 16 survivors is the grandson of Bonifacia Sanchez, who lives in a rural area in the southern Mexican state of Oaxaca. Asked why her grandson risked his life to get to the United States. Because we're poor, she said. There are no jobs here to make a living. The need is great. An answer that explains why so many continue to seek a dream that this week ended in tragedy for dozens of migrants.